Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the changes to women's bodies in Ascension. There's a lot. It's not that men's bodies don't change. They do. However, there is something to know because women uh, have the ability to bear children the possibility of childbirth, um, conceiving a child, holding a child, guess what? You're up first. Now, the thing that is out about this is that some of it is not explainable by medical science. Why someone would seem to go into early menopause? Why do you get cramps at different times of the month than your normal cycle? Why your cycle goes wonky? All of the other things that go with it, guess what? The answer is ascension. And there are things you need to know and things you should do to ease yourself out of those old levels. One of the things that really gets people is even if they haven't had uh, a baby in this life, they can feel something called mystical pregnancy. Now, this is not a real pregnancy. And yet it can really mess with someone's head and they'll go do a pregnancy test. And it'll be negative. Why would something feel like something? Guess what? You have parts of you that remember. Your body remembers. Your body also remembers love. Plus, there's two of you. So who is your other half getting pregnant? Who have they gotten pregnant? What have they had in their other lives? How have they raised those children or not raised those children? Were those children somehow gotten rid of? Were they sold off? Were they hidden children? All of these can have an effect on a woman's body as she goes through ascension. Many things that might baffle you, you could sometimes have a deeper sense of, like where you could say, well, it feels like this. It feels like I'm bleeding out. It feels like somehow my body has had it with this or that. And that's absolutely valid. But in order to actually up-level yourself, especially if you are young, so people who are in an age range of about 20 to 45, please pay attention to this. You do not have to trip and fall down within this like you might have if my modality was not available. I help you to integrate that brand new part of you that actually does not want to carry around the bad memories the bad feelings, the weird aches and pains and pokes. Now, when your body goes through these surges and you're retaining fluid and your appetite is wild and you're scratching your head just saying, why? Or you're behaving irrationally and you kind of know it, but still you're going like, what is going on with me? I don't feel like I'm myself. Or you have migraine headache after migraine headache and you're a little leery to take some of the medicines or even some of the stronger stuff that they use, which actually is the botulism poison. Not totally against it, but honestly, you're putting a poison in. A lot of people should not be okay with putting toxic stuff, toxic people, toxic things into their body, no matter how much it seems to help, because I'll tell you why it sometimes can mess up other stuff. What that means is it can have an effect on other parts of your body systems or it can have a long-term effect. Some of that stuff hasn't really been used for a long enough term to really see what does it do, what other areas does it affect. Does something that you take for a headache affect your facial nerves? Yes, it can because everything's sort of interrelated. That is a part of this ascension, which is everything is getting back to a normal high level of functioning and functioning properly with interactions between your systems. You probably will need some help this new moon. I have, we're going to touch on it in my class. We're having a two day group. I also have a pay what you feel you can, what you can feature. I hope that you'll join us. Please look at the links below. Check out my website. I I talk about it in terms of the three stages of womanhood, the maiden stage or the virgin or the teenager. How would you like to get back to your teenage purity, but retaining your wisdom? The mother stage, even if you're not a mother or not a mother yet, how would you like to have one of the easiest parts of you to support you during that, to bring you help?
well-being and for that of your potential child. And the older wise woman, or a really older word is the crone, mother maiden crone. The wise woman, the mature woman, the silver fox woman, okay? These are all parts of the stages of being a woman. And there is a stage of your ascension that you enter into it where you need to start upgrading. It's one thing to feel downloads, but a lot of people don't know what to do with them. I help you to open and integrate the parts of you that you actually need to connect to, get reconnected. Twin Flame Reconnection, that is what it is about. So please check the links below and reach out to me for the help to make this as seamless as possible. I know things that the doctors don't know because the doctors are focusing on you as one person, not on two people who have an effect on each other. And that is one of the key differences. In fact, it explains a lot of things if you um, really start to learn about this. So come, join us. We'd love to have you. Bye now.